happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i'm going to be doing a set of press-ons in honor of madam glam's anniversary so happy nine years to madam glam you all know they're one of my favorite gel polish brands and um yeah i'm just excited to be celebrating them on such a nice momentous occasion so this is i guess their ninth birthday or their ninth um year anniversary and just yeah madam glam thank you so much for being such an amazing company and for making such great high quality products you guys rock okay okay happy people so i definitely wanted to let you all know that in honor of their birthday sale they are having some amazing deals so currently the entire website is actually 30% off. Um, any items that you get that's over four items, um, it's 40% off, it's 55% off for VIP. And then they have their outlet, which is actually 65% off. That's probably the biggest discount I've ever seen them give. And you all can see here, these are some of the items that are 65% off. Um, these gel polishes go down as low as $7.68. That's a great deal for Madame Glam polishes. You all know they're very high quality, high performing products. So that's definitely a deal. I mean, they normally retail for almost $20. And then you can also see some of their other collections here. Some of their other polishes are on sale for as low as $8.98. So if you all have not tried Madame Glam polishes and you've been wanting to get your hands on them, now is the time to shop because I don't know that you all will see them this low again. And my discount code is here on the screen. In the event that you all catch this um, video after the sale, you all are still able to enjoy 30% off using my discount code on Madame Glam's website. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, for any future purchases, but yeah, let's hop into the video. With that, I do want to showcase off a few new colors that I just got in from Madam Glam, and these are the colors we're going to be using to make their anniversary set. Again, we celebrate nine years, okay? Congratulations, Madam Glam. Um, but yeah, I just want to um, show really quick the box packaging here. This is their information if you guys want to check them out. Um, and they are vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 free, and also HEMA free. That's one of the things I really like about them. So they're a nice clean gel polish brand but yeah let's look at these colors that I got here I picked up a uh, top secret and I was really excited to get this color in my collection it's actually like a glass color it's like a transparent black um, I can't wait to swatch this one you all will see it a little bit better once I'm able to swatch it but top secret is the first color that I picked up I also picked up crystal ball I believe this is from their new house of life collection if i'm not mistaken but it's a really beautiful yummy just uh, beautiful beautiful um kind of teal blue here really really nice i love that a lot next color here now these two are from their recent collections as well and these two i believe is called the house of color collection if i'm not mistaken but i'll link it here on the screen so that in case i got it wrong but the star is a color from that collection that i thought was absolutely beautiful y'all know i love me some yellow and this is a really beautiful like nice kind of vibrant pastel yellow really really pretty i also picked up live colorfully you all know i've been I'm on the search for a really nice good orange and so I thought this one would be really really pretty to have in my collection it's kind of a vibrant muted orange if I don't know if I'm describing that right but it's really pretty so I'm happy to have that and then last but not least you guys I was really excited to have this I kind of just stumbled upon this color but it's called stardust and it's kind of similar to not ashamed from nail reserve um, the glitters are very very similar but it's an absolutely stunning gold glitter that has some chunky and fine hollow flakes in them so yeah y'all let me go ahead and get these colors swatched out and then we'll hop into the look so the first color we'll be swatching here is stardust really really pretty love it is this not a gorgeous glitter oh my gosh all right so that's stardust next we have top secret yeah so this is just a really cool like you can barely tell anything is on it but i love the smoky look that this gel polish brings and I'm excited to do a couple more layers because that's just one layer of top secret. Next we have crystal ball. Really beautiful. Next we have the star. Oh, this is a fun yellow. It's different. I don't think I have a yellow like this. It's kind of like, a, like I said, a vibrant pale. Really pretty. I like that. And last but not least, we have Live Colorfully. Mm. 
This is what two coats of all the gel polishes look like. I'm gonna give you all a close really quick. So this is the first one. This here is Stardust. This is an absolutely stunning glitter. I am in love with this. Definitely gonna be using it in today's look. Top secret. This is just a really fun, nice smoky black color. This here is Live Colorfully, which is a really beautiful, vibrant, pale yellow color. This here is Live Colorfully, which is a really beautiful, a bright muted orange really pretty and last but not least this is really beautiful um, mint blue um, almost turquoise blue color these are all the recent colors that I got in from Adam Glam and I'm excited to do a look with them alrighty so I'm gonna go in with some press on nails for this anniversary set from Adam Glam I have some full cover stiletto tips these are some of my faves I'll link to them down below but yeah I am gonna go in with this design and use uh, stardust and top secret i think these are two really beautiful colors so i'm excited to try to create a cool look with them so first and foremost i'm gonna go in with base coat on all the nails and that's just to it, um, ensure that the gel polish uh, sticks to the actual full cover tip Alrighty, so now that the base coat has been cured, uh, I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to do two bling nails for the middle and ring finger, and then on these other two fingers, I want to do like a glitter ombre with this top secret and stardust. So I think I'm going to do an ombre where it starts at the base of the nail and then goes clear towards the tip. So I've also been wanting to do some clear tip nails. So I'm going to start with, uh, actually no, let me start with top secret, okay? I'm going to just put that on the entire nail. I'm going to go ahead and put Top Secret on the first four nails, actually. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this set. I'm actually coming up with this set on the spot, you guys. So, let's see how it works out for me. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is what three coats of top secret looks like and I'm going to go ahead and go in with a glitter ombre and so again I'm going to go in with stardust and I want to do a reverse ombre so I'm going to put some of the glitter here at the base of the nail like so and then I'm going to kind of feather it towards the top if that makes sense I hope this comes out the way in my head the way I'm envisioning it, but we'll see here. And so whenever you're doing like a, a glitter ombre like this, I like to just kind of fill in the base of the nail um, and then take a liner brush and then just kind of drag some of those pieces toward the front or towards the top. And that kind of creates that ombre effect. It's nice if you can get some of these chunky glitters to kind of fade up towards the top too. That really adds to the effect of the nail this chunk here you want to place it here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that and I'm gonna repeat that same process on the pinky nail so again I'm gonna kind of go about halfway up the nail and fill it in with the color or glitter of choice and then I'm gonna turn the nail around and just, like I said, kind of bring some of those chunky glitters forward and ombre it on down. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So this is what the two ombre nails look like. Next, I'm gonna go in with just some, some straight up bling on these two nails. And I'm gonna start with, I think the middle finger here, okay? And I am going to be using my new bling box that I got from Amazon. If you all did not see my recent Amazon haul where I featured a lot of Prime Day deals, um, I did feature this bling box and it is only $12. And I'm actually shocked, but it's still on sale for $12. So if you guys want to pick it up, you can. I went ahead and already like uh, organized or arranged how I wanted my bling to be. And so now I'm just going to go in with some of Lissette's Blinket Gel and um, apply it to the entire nail and then get to placing my rhinestones. Okay, happy people. So when it comes to bling placement, it's something that I really like to take the time to arrange my bling prior to starting 
the placement because sometimes I don't necessarily know how I want it to look as I'm doing it um, kind of on the spot so I like to kind of pre-plan it a little bit but I really do like using Lissette's Blinket Gel because it does dry non-tack and so um, yeah and it's also a thicker consistency so as you all see as I'm placing the, the rhinestones on the nail they're not like moving around and sliding around and so um, yeah I really like that product for that reason but I really love the way these nails turned out look how cute that was um, and so yeah I'm going to repeat the same process with this um, ring finger which is applying Lisette's Blinket Gel and then applying the rhinestones um, how I want them to be on the nail and just be patient as you all learn rhinestone placement it's not something you learn overnight but it's fun you can be super creative with it Alrighty, so this is what we have so far I'm loving how it's coming together next I'm going to go in I think I want to do maybe three coats of top secret on this nail and then I'm going to outline it with these chain stickers here and I think that'll be the completed look. This is what the nail looks like again with three coats of the top secret and a layer of no wipe top coat. So like I said I think I want to go in with these stickers here and apply them around the perimeter of the nail. I think I want to go in with probably these medium strips here. Okay. And I'm just going to apply it to the side of the nail like so. I originally wanted to use actual chains, but I'm going to be honest, I just didn't feel like it. So that's what that looks like. That's nice. Okay, I like that. It's a cool effect on the nail. I'm going to go in and do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to put it right here on the perimeter of the nail. Right about here. And I'm going to come and do it right here at the bottom of the nail as well. So this nail was pretty interesting to do. So I ended up having to just um, cut around where the corners were. Um, little tiny strips of the nail sticker to give it that full chain effect. So you see me here just kind of like moving and maneuvering the stickers where um, I think they look most um, appropriate so that it looks like a continuous chain. Um, and I think I was able to achieve that look but like I said I was just kind of cutting and snipping um, where I saw fit in order to get it to look like one continuous piece and I think the end result ended up looking really good. I did go in with one last strip at the very bottom of the nail in order to go ahead and round off everything but you'll see here shortly like it turned out pretty good and i actually love how it looked so i thought it was nice to use this in place of actual chains because it still gives that effect Ooh, that looks nice i like that okay so that's this nail so this is what the nails are looking like so far yeah i'm really liking how the trimming turned out on this nail it's really it's really cute i might have to try uh, this and more nail designs, but I like the look of that outline. But yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and top coat uh, all the rest of the nails. And I'm going in with the Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm actually going to go ahead and add a heart rhinestone to the thumbnail because I just love me some Madam Glam. And then we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my anniversary nails came out for Madam Glam. And once again, Madam Glam, I want to wish you a happy anniversary slash happy birthday. Nine years going strong. I'm wishing the company continued success in the future. And yes, y'all, let me know how my Manny turned out. I'm loving the bling. I'm loving the glitter. She just glam and she cute, okay? So yeah, thanks again to Madam Glam for always partnering with me and always being um, such a great company to work with. You guys are near and dear to my heart. And like I said, I wish you all continued success in the future. If you all are interested in any other products that I tried out, um, I do have a discount code with Madam Glam. I'm, gl I'm gonna leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below. All other products that I've used will also be linked down in the description box below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Hope y'all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!